Welcome back everybody. We are in Southwest Ranches and I'm gonna be taking you through one of the most unique looking houses that I think we've been through on this channel. This house has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, three half bathrooms, 10,200 square feet total, an RV recreational center on one side of the property, guest cottage, all the land you're gonna want. You can probably hear peacocks in the background at this point, wildlife, and above all, which most people need, privacy. Normally we live in sunny South Florida, but we just gotta work with what we got. So let's just get started right away. When you pass through your private gated area, this is your first garage, two car port right here. And then the guest entrance is that way, or like the main entrance. So if you come home, you're not gonna really go down this way. You have the access over there, but we'll go down here because this is the first time you're seeing the house. So here comes the little private walkway. Just, just a little small, little small front yard. Don't get too excited because it gets, it only gets bigger. It only gets bigger from here, but just right here, very unique entrance. You don't get to see entrances like this, even just above where you have this wood finish on the ceiling and this insane light fixture. And let's go take a look inside. Right away, if you've been following me on my other tours, you can already tell this is something that you haven't seen. It's just a completely different type of entrance. Even the floor has a little detail, just this Celtic design going all the way around the center table with what looks like maybe a, a mother of pearl or just some unique stone right here, a special finish just for the top of the ceiling and a really cool light fixture. Never get tired of those. Coming in, this is where it's gonna get, just follow me, stay tuned, all right? On my left, you might think this might be a half bathroom and it is, but it has a few features that you haven't seen before in any half bathroom, such as 24 karat gold fixture. You have these raindrop lighting fixtures up the top and even just the finish on the wall, they didn't just put black or gray. It has like a mix of both with the design in that as well. And then when you come into the main living space, this is where it cools back down, it warms up. So you went from being super prestigious into a more comfortable family sitting area. And as you walk in, 25 foot high ceilings and that wood texture that we saw out by the front continues at the top. One of my favorite features about this whole room, one of the things that stands out the most, that light fixture in the center. I've seen a whole array of light fixtures and that one has gotta be one of the most visually appealing. Even this room that I'm in right now, immediately I just feel like I wanna call my family over and have a gathering. It, it's so warm, cozy. It feels like we're in a cold winter area and this is where we're coming home to warm off and, and, and settle down and have some hot cocoa. I'm being honest. And then right over here, I mean, besides this little sitting area, you have just a more quiet, maybe husband and wife, or I don't know, this is just more professional. Reading the newspapers, those big panel newspapers, you know, it's just a sitting area. More seating. You know, if this isn't your style as well, you can just make this a huge living room with the TV on the fireplace as like a centerpiece. So behind me are gonna be all of the bedrooms for the main house. We'll start on my left with the guest suites. So as you come down, on my left you have a laundry room. And I had to point out this laundry room because it's not just a washer and dryer. Come in here with me. Look at the space you have. It goes all the way down. So you got storage, window for fresh air and light, and even just some more storage on the back wall over here. Some coat hangers, racks to dry the clothes. And then behind me, be the first kind of kids bedroom however so normally with the guest bedrooms I'm, I'm the videos are kind of slow in the guest bedroom because it's like all right what's to see in the guest bedroom however there's a few things to note in here the, oh i was looking for the light switch my fault it just turns on automatically but when you come in here look at the length of this room so it's actually situated for one two three four kids even a lit up staircase to get to your bedroom so this is not a bunk bed this is like a bunk two-story home TV on the wall, huge window overlooking the entrance, and then the full ensuite on this side. So if you could just imagine not having this whole piece right here, this would be a huge guest bedroom to have, or just the way they have it as an awesome kid's bedroom. So coming out of that first guest suite, it's gonna take us into more traditional guest suite. So coming into here, insane light fixture again, full walk-in closet, you got windows going all the way around, so I, I might as well just turn that off and save electricity because we got so much natural light in here, it's like heaven. And then just one of the crazy things about this ensuite to point out, 
Underneath, you have like a light, so just creates just foot lighting right here. The sink, everything about it, the finishes are all matching, and the walk-in shower, the soak and tub are huge. So it's not a little piece they threw in here. This is a real true guest suite, and just a, a little extra window to brighten it up a little bit. But from here, you saw that skin? Yeah. Ooh. But from here, we're gonna come back around, and we're gonna take a look at the master bedroom. However, the reason I'm being so dramatic about it, say so this master bedroom, blow my socks off. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I said that, but check it out. So when I first was getting the tour of this place, I thought, oh, okay, just like a little den sitting room. Kinda. So when you come in, you're like, okay, cool, Jason, I've seen this, right? Well, this is all part of the master suite. So right as you come in, just a hangout, chill spot, TV on the wall, look how huge this, this just piece is right here. All the storage, shelving, a sink, a wet bar with a fridge, the controls for the entertainment right here, Crescent Technology. So as we come down, this right away I was already in love. Little did I know what I was gonna see. Coming down, you have his and hers. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But look at this walk-in closet. Again, I love when they put windows in to the closets because it just doesn't make you feel very claustrophobic. The sun is finally starting to come out and you have this insane light fixture. I know I call every light fixture insane, but come on, where have you seen this? I go shopping, I don't even see these things. An island with storage, shelving on both sides, so maybe you can even share this closet. But if this isn't enough for you, got a little extra closet right over here. I was looking for the light switch again, but yeah, maybe throw up a couple suits, just separate a little bit, coat closet, any of those things. But without further ado, take a look at the main master suite. Access straight to the outside backyard area. The window gives the room all this natural light and just take a look at the layout we have over here. This is so unique, like an art piece from a museum. That one's just as cool, it's all symmetrical. And it just makes me wanna jump in and take a nap. Actually, no, it gives me energy, it makes me excited. So while we have this excitement going, let me take you into the master bathroom. Look at this, look at what we have here. Flawlessly done. You have the dual sink on one side, both bathroom utilities on separated. That's probably for the best. And then look at this light fixture we have in the middle. I'm gonna point out every single one because they get better and better. This is like, just like the one we saw in the front door foyer area. However, more warm for the bathroom. A nice little seat and just take a look while we have it. The sun is reflecting beautifully on that tub. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't wanna get in there and take a warm bath, after closing on this beautiful property, then you got problems and I can't help you. But if that wasn't enough for you, how about this? How about this? Walk in shower, how about skip in shower? <laughs> but you, know, you might be thinking, Jason, I'm gonna take a shower with this huge window. Who's gonna see you? There's two acres of land on one side, all this tree foliage blocking you in. So you got basically an outdoor sanctuary spa right here and just to really get to appreciate what's, what's on out there, we're gonna take a little stroll. How about an outdoor shower? Why not? Get a little, uh, you know, everyone's complaining, you're not outside enough, you're not getting enough outdoor space, boom. Got an outdoor shower. Coming out of this master suite, just wanna sh something that I missed. You have these custom barn doors to separate the rooms. How sweet is that? It's just, I mean, you don't even need doors here, but it's just a nice little touch to add. I really enjoy it. And then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna take us back into the hallway of the bedrooms. We'll go down this side that we haven't walked across. We're gonna pass for now the outdoor entertaining space and we're gonna come straight into the kitchen. Notice the fireplace that the TV is on is a two-way fireplace. So it goes in one side, and it warms up the other side as well. So that's really cool. This whole space is dedicated to cooking, eating, and laughing. That's a card, that's a postcard. But let's just get started with the details. Your favorite. You got your Wolf appliances. I think we knew that was gonna happen, but look at this Wolf stove. You have a six burner gas stove with the faucet right on top. So there's no lugging of those heavy pots and pans. And this, I wanna eat off this. Look how insanely, elegant this is, matching the cabinetry, the finish on the countertops, just take my breath away. And then right below me, you have your microwave. So there's a walk-in pantry. However, my God, this might be an extra room. This is like the walk, this is like the pantry room. Look at this, look at the size of this pantry going all the way down. 
listen, you have a big family. I know. I listen. I found it. I found the place where you're going to store all the food. This is probably the kids and the adults and then free storage. I don't know. Here's where you have your oversized Sub-Zero refrigerator. This thing is massive. It's even got Capri Suns. Wow, I'm sorry. I haven't seen one of those in years. When you grab your Capri Sun, you just come across, take a seat, feel the warmth. That feels so good. Feel the warmth and just hang out, enjoy the meal. However, the kitchen is not done yet. The cool thing about this is the same cabinetry that they had on the fridge, they continue it going all the way down. So as we come down, you have more storage, almost, almost like a functioning wet bar connected to the fridge and everything. It has a wine cooler down below. Oh, sorry, a wine cooler over here, Sub-Zero mini fridge over here. What is it, an ice maker? Yep, ice maker right here. And then from this, it leads into like a freestanding bar stool area, which I had never seen before, connected to the dining room. Insane, haven't seen anything like this before. And this table will run you about $25,000. I think you could tell, look how luxurious it looks. The light fixture to top it all off. And if that wasn't impressive enough for you, when, when you do a 180, nothing but views, Just straight views. Insane, you can see the whole backyard area. And one really quick thing to point out, I love the, the feng shui of this place. When you look down, it comes straight out into your entertaining place, and that's exactly what you want to see. You're entertaining, you're having a good day. These doors are wide open. Everyone comes in, grabs the drinks, eats, heads out. It's party time, it's party time. So we're gonna make another 180. Come across this way, I'll meet you on that side. And we're gonna make our way to the upstairs second story of this main house. Before we get there, this is the inside of that garage that we saw uh, when we were coming up. This is kind of where you can put your everyday car, your daily drivers, park them in here. You got a nice two car garage, doors open up. So if it's a day like today when it's raining, just drive right in, come straight into the kitchen. This is your private entrance. Right next to this is the stairwell. Stainless steel handlebar going up. So listen, this thing's not going anywhere. And we make our way to this. I don't even know. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw this is I want to get to hard work. If you need to work, if you need like a workshop at home, I found it for you. I found the perfect place, but let's take a moment. I want to make a moment for this in the video. Can we please emphasize what's above me? Look at the wood work that we have above us. The wood goes all the way across. Hopefully one day I wish video could show smell because it smells like fresh wood and this is really where you feel like you're in a Colorado retreat. It's insane. So you have a sitting area right over here. A kind of a smaller version of that light fixture I was so in love with. On my left, another sitting area. So this could just be like a lounging place, but right behind me, this is where you get down to business, right? So if you're an architect, this is kind of what this table's for. You lay out the plans. However, I'm sure we can think of a million things to put right here or a pool table. Forget work. Let's just have some fun up here. But if you're like me and you need a place to work, how about this, sectioned off, you get the whole team here working, getting things done, handling business, and then uh, windows to let in some natural light. My favorite part, right before we head back down, when you stand over here, you get the king's view. You can see all over, looking down to your living area, out into the backyard, down all the way to the end of your property, and it's a really special spot to be. So from here, we're gonna head back downstairs take a look at the backyard area and then I'll show you what else this place has to offer. Let's go. We're gonna head out. The rain's finally gone. As we take a step out, here's where you're gonna spend a lot of your days just lounging and hanging out. So here, obviously for days like today, you have a waterproof furniture set to hang out outdoors. The, the wood that we saw on the ceiling is continues back out here and the windows are heavily tinted so you can't really even see in, so you got more privacy out here. Overlooking, if you just look down this way, take a look at that silhouette between your pool, straight out into your yard, it feels almost endless. Before we get to the outdoor kitchen, look how rimless this little hot tub is. And I'm sorry, I said little hot tub, this thing is huge. You have basically what could be actually just a regular pool and you have this like peacock reflective finish. I guess maybe to symbolize the fact that there, there are sometimes peacocks roaming in your backyard. And the, the pool, the hot tub, actually has a little path walkway that slits and goes straight down to the main pool area. But before we get over there, let's come across. This is the outdoor entertaining space. I am absolutely in love with over here. Besides this seating for all of your guests, 
the wood finish once again continues up above and you have misters that on a hot day in South Florida, which is nearly every day, they will spin and shoot mist. And when that thing goes on, that's how you know the party has begun, honestly. Even have a path to lead in from the front door straight to out here, because this is where it's happening. This is where everyone wants to be. You have the fridge, you have alfresco appliances, the vent, sink, and wait, oh, I'm sorry, you thought I was done? How about this? A big green egg, a little char grill. How sick is that? Oh, and it stays open, my bad. I, <laughs> well, I didn't know. <laughs> so from here, oh, and not to mention the TV. For entertainment, we're gonna need a little TV, we need a little entertainment action. So we're gonna come from the outdoor kitchen area, watch your step, cross over this walk path that silhouettes, and here we have the, half the outdoor cabana bathroom. And I wanted to show this because normally with cabana bathrooms, they feel kind of like sticky and filled with bugs. Not this one, this is like a proper bathroom. Look at this. You have the finishes on the wall, a piece of art, light fixtures, and the wood at the top of the ceiling. They didn't spare any detail with this. And wow, at the nick of time, the fountains just turned on behind me. So I think that's my cue maybe. Thank you, I got it. This is what, let's talk about the pool. So here, 1200 square foot pool. And take a look at this, the trees, real healthy breathing trees on each corner of your pool. Now we're in like a resort style pool area. Come across. You have shallow ends on both sides and then the middle is where it gets deep. As we come down over here, take a look in the backyard. There's some peacocks crossing down in the back over there. That's insane. And then we'll come across down and here's where it's gonna take us to the guest cottage. I think you'll like this. So we're gonna walk across this path. You have more space over here. If you wanna extend this and build a bigger cottage on that side, you absolutely can come across. And it almost feels like we just left the house and went to a different whole unit entirely. And before we get inside, I know, I know you're excited. Before we get in there, I wanna take a, a walk around here. And this is, this is where it really brings it home all the seating to appreciate this huge open backyard space. Nearly all of the acreage is just here for you to appreciate. This is where the peacocks are crossing and then a nice seat right over here. This, this is the best seat in the house if you ask me. You get your coffee in the morning and you're just rocking and enjoying all the peace. No neighbors in sight. It's very relaxing, but that's not the last feature that it has. It has a full bedroom and bathroom. So let's go take a look in there. All right, so as we come on in, take a look. Air conditioned again. We're in Florida, everything is air conditioned. You got a view, so you don't, listen, you wanna be inside where you look at that view? Big, beautiful window over here, just looking out into your lake and the property, comes across into the main sleeping area. Look at this, cozy. I mean, you don't understand how much energy it's taken to not jump in that bed and tuck myself in those sheets. How about this for detail? Nice, nice little sitting place, have a little, little cup of coffee, light fixture. This is romantic as This is so cute, I love this right here. and. The bathroom, you might think, oh, okay, like a little, little cute small, no, this bathroom does not lack at all. Take a look at the finish up on this wall. Look at that. I at first saw this wallpaper, that's actually stone implanted. And then look at the mirror we have going across here, the sink, everything is flawless. And then you have this walk-in shower with again, a little window. It's not missing a single thing. And I know what you might be thinking, Jason, wow, you've shown us so much. I guess that the tour is over. Absolutely not. There is, I probably left the most incredible feature for last. So let's head back outside. We're gonna take this path back down, come across and take you to one of the most special areas by this whole property. Coming across here, we'll just take a look at the entrance from this side. Get ready. So here you have RV capable parking for the garage completely 100% air conditioned as well. You have those two massive doors to let in two sides of the RVs and a little smaller door for treats like this. Little toys, custom motorcycles right over here. On the theme of this being an air conditioned place to have your toys, they have facilities as well. So you have a full ensuite bathroom with a shower right here for anyone who needs to use it. And then take a look as we come across all this, all this storage space, it leads to the other side and on top of that, on top of all this workshop space, you actually have a dedicated area to basically just like work on your toys, repairs, whatever the case may be, right over here, separated, keep it nice and organized. We're gonna head back down this way and we're gonna go take a look upstairs at the secret room. So right here, we have an elevator that can take you up the stairs. However, we're gonna take a spiral staircase instead. So let's go. 
So right here is where the elevator and stairwell will take you up. On my left, you have a little walkout balcony to appreciate the view of everywhere. However, there's another balcony I'll save for later. So you come up, this is kind of like your formal walk living room area, a couple seats, car key table. I don't know, it's like a little house. When we come into here, this is where it, you really get the idea. Look at this. I just got a whole new wind of air. I was a little tired, I'm wide awake again. This is an entertainer's paradise. This is a grandkid paradise. This is, this is everything. But before I get lost on my left, here is the game room, pool table, window overlooking the front of the property. And again, all that space you had back there, you can see the rest of the space down here. And how about this? For you younger people watching this show, or maybe even adults can relate to this, Imagine having your three, the three best friends, the three musketeers, three different systems playing together simultaneously. That is, who needs summer camp when you have this? This is insane. And the best part is it can be completely converted into anything you want. Let's go back into the main space up here. You have this TV entertainment system, sofa, and then even right here, behind here, this is how you access behind the TV. If you want to do wiring, storage, whatever the case may be, clean, hidden, microwave, storage, shelving, sink, place for the kids to hang out, sit up here, have a couple drinks, eat some food, refrigerator. And guess what? Listen, Jason, I need to use the bathroom. Where, where do I go? I need to use the bathroom. Hey, you don't have to go all the way downstairs. I'm not gonna make you do that. I got a bathroom right here, my friend. This is a, an art museum version of a half bathroom. Art, as you walk in, this wall, you have horsehair wallpaper. It's not really horsehair, it's just called horsehair. And then take a look, this sleet gray finish on all of this, all of this here. And then this is the other walkout balcony that you have. It connects all the way to the first one and you can kind of just come out here, get some fresh air, leave the door open, whatever the case may be. And the final, the final spot I'm gonna show you, just like in the master bedroom, custom sliding barn door right here takes you in, this is the adults. This is like, you come on in, come on in, come on in. All right, kids, we'll see you. Now it's adult time. This is where it gets serious. You close this baby up, soundproof. So no one can hear you really in here. This is your own little sanctuary, right? This is, this is the real table, right? You got the sitting, this is for the people, got, they got up next, they're like making bets, waiting, little drinks, who knows? And on the reverse side, even more sitting area, this, this almost feels like a, like a sports bar, but for class, a classy sports bar. And to end it all, to finish, to put the biggest cherry on the most delicious vegan sundae. The final balcony. Overlooking your incredible estate. This is definitely one of the most unique tours we've ever been on and Hope you enjoyed it. For my returning subscribers, I just wanna say sorry for the wait. All right, I know it's been two weeks. We've run into some issues. However, we're back. We're back stronger, got things planned. It's gonna be really good from here. If you're a first time subscriber, you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, to turn on the notification button, get it started, and uh, more peacocks are crossing over there. Can I, can I see that real quick? No, hold it, hold on, let me see. Look at that. Look at those peacocks crossing in your backyard. Insane. All right.